Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody, what is going on, it is Gail Riot here, and today we're back again with another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video, and we're gonna be going through the data mined files from the closed beta test. With three days to go for the game's launch, I want to see if there's anything interesting that we missed out on in this file. Of course, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Anything matters. I'm done with asking you guys questions. You guys can let me know if there's anything interesting that you guys want to say in the comment section down below, as long as it's not vulgar, okay? As long as it's not vulgar, type out anything you want in the comment section down below. It's a free reign for you guys today, okay? But yes, I want to go through the data mine files. I've already done this once before after the closed beta test ended. We actually went through the files beforehand, but we only went through certain files in the file itself. We didn't go through everything. Today, we're going to go through everything. We're going to scroll through the entire file. We're going to go over all 5,909 items, and we're going to check out if there's anything interesting for us to note. Along with that, once the game launches, we will be doing an updated video where we will be data mining the new launch version of of the game so that we can see how many more files have been added if there's anything interesting that's worth noting and of course if there's anything worth noting for the future of the game of course that is what's going to be most interesting so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that or you can just leave a like down below if you want to see that happen of course the more likes you leave the higher chances it'll be that I'll do that, of course. So let's go over the data mine files. First and foremost, we're going to look at the top left of your screen right now, and we're going to take a look at that Hestia sticker. And you might be wondering, Gail, why is that worth noting? Well, it really isn't that worth noting, but it is going to be helpful for those who can't really get in touch with their familiars. Of course, I know most familiars will probably have their own discords. Um, I'm going to have my own discord, by the way. My discord will be in the link in the description down below and stuff, of course. Um, and there are going to be other discords as well that will host their own familiars and stuff like that. So, of course, everybody's going to have their own ways of chatting with one another. But there will be some familiars that will have members that don't have discord or don't use discord. So, having a familiar chat with stickers available like that Hestia sticker and along with it there will be other stickers because this Hestia sticker is already in the Danmachi Battle Chronicle official discord and there are a bunch of other stickers as well so I, I expect to see those stickers be translated into the game and I expect to see the launch version of the game have way more stickers than just that so that this is going to be a great way for players to be able to chat with their own familiars especially if they don't have discord so I think that's going to be great um along with that uh, on this page of the or this section of the file i should say it's not pages but in this section of the file the next interesting thing is this coin icon with the minotaur on it now this was the event currency in the game itself and i expect to see a lot more like this basically in the game of course once we start getting more and more events we'll probably get coins like these there will probably be one with like say for example the juggernaut on it there will be one with astraeus on it potentially there will be one with maybe even like hyakinthos on it because remember hyakinthos will be a boss technically in season two now the question is if he'll be an event as well but yeah Kintos might also have one ishtar might have one kali might have one there might be so many characters who will have their own coins as well because they might be the signature or main character for the event itself so keep that in mind these will be used for the event exchange shop now beyond that outside of this in this section or outside of that in this section there's not much actually there's a lot of like textures and a lot of like sheets basically of images that will be combined and collated together in the final version basically to make a background image so this isn't something for us to really note and look forward to right now it, it'll just end up being like the backgrounds like this if i'm not mistaken this image that is shown that i've clicked on right here and highlighted that you guys can see um i think that is supposed to be the daedalus street if i'm not mistaken i think that's supposed to be the daedalus street correct me if i'm wrong and you feel like it's something else but i think that's supposed to be the daedalus the street so there will be stuff like that now we move on to the images from the story itself so these are all images that you'll see in the actual seasonal story um of course these images are straight from the anime pretty much right so it's to be expected so seasons one two three four will all have these types of images basically in the closed beta test we actually only had these images to be quite honest because we only had the start of the season one stuff 
basically Bell, you know, getting his first stats sheet, going into the dungeon for the first time, and then afterwards going all the way until the first Monsterphilia event, of course, right? Where he goes up against the Silverback uh, and gets the Hestia knife, of course, right? So that was pretty much all we had in um, the closed beta test. With, of course, the final release of the game based on what we know, we know that there's going to be Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, and Season 4 content in the game. So expect to see these images multiplied by, like, 20 times, honestly, 20, 30 times, easily, easily. Honestly, I feel like the data mine file that I have right now, which is like nearly 6,000 items, I think that's gonna like triple or quadruple. It's gonna get up to like 18 to 20,000 items very, very easily. So expect to see the next video be like, four times the length because we're going to be going through the entire file basically right so that's something to bear in mind of course next time around i think we'll only cover the key parts basically instead um obviously aiming ink image of course we have to have that the developers of the game of course right now this is very interesting these are all the skill icons and it seems like it's the assist skill icons if i'm not mistaken because it says as it could be also adventure skills but i think this is all assist skills because you have the hesti icon right next to it and everything so i think it's supposed to be assist skill icons um, and it's also right next to the assist bars as well. Um, so I expect to see, uh, I expect these all to be like linked to like the assists and stuff. So some of them will probably be linking to Hestia. Some of them will be N uh, Lily. I think these arrows are actually for Lily, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I think a lot of these icons are mainly for the assist characters, basically, and their skills. Um, the assist bar, of course, uh, determining how full it is, basically. Um, right now, it's only showing halfway through, but it basically totals up, right? Um, the next thing you might be wondering, what are these icons? These potions, these fluids, the cloak, the chain, what are these? These are equipment items. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. The AT, all these AT things are all equipments, basically. So just like scene cards, you can farm these equipments, basically. Well, you can't farm scene cards, but just like scene cards, they these equipments give stats. They have the ability to give a uh, an ability as well. So it's really, really handy to farm these uh, uh, equipment pieces because they are farmable. Unlike scene cards, which you have to gotcha, these are farmable. So you want to try and get them by just farming as many stages as possible. In the closed beta test, I think I remember getting like multiple of these ones. I don't know what, I didn't know what they did in the closed beta test because sometimes they would be acting a little bit wonky. So I didn't pay too much close attention to the assist skills, but I did know that it benefited us in the fight itself by giving us a buff basically so keep that in mind that these do end up being quite useful you might want to farm as much as possible to try and get these items i also know that some of these items you can actually get from the exchange shop as well because i remember when bales was streaming and she went to the exchange shop this item this blue and silver like a brooch i guess or necklace or pendant or whatever it is actually was in the exchange shop so some of these might be in the exchange shop and they might be of higher quality as well so yeah these are all the stuff that you can get there are some very interesting ones i like the design they've gone for some of these uh equipment pieces i will admit these are very very interesting now we move on to the um attributes of course these are things uh that these are very interesting things because we still don't know what this boot icon definitely means because of course the sword and club icon like i've said is the dps icon this shield slash hard icon is a tank roll boot sub dps crowd control debuffer we don't know exactly what this is but i'm assuming it's one of those and then these star icons are basically the um, supporter icons, the healers, the bu buffers, the debuffer, uh, sorry, not debuffers, the cleansers, I should say, the cleansers of the debuffs, I should say. These are what the this icon means, basically. This is what that icon means, basically. And then you have the enemies as well. The Minotaur is a boss enemy, and then these are your regular enemies as well. So you've got red, green, yellow, purple, and blue. And then there's the neutral uh, role as well, the gr gray role, which doesn't have a weakness or strength, basically. Um, I will say this, these four I doubt will ever get used, to be quite honest. I don't see the gray icon being used for any of these, to be quite honest. These, however, will probably be quite common, I would say. These will probably be quite common. Um, you obviously have the auto button here, the badges, all that jazz. Battle pass background, battle pass image as well. You've got the, I mean, we know that there's a battle pass coming out as well. Now, the interesting thing that I, uh obviously didn't necessarily talk about in the previous uh, video and to be quite honest i didn't realize this was going to be a thing actually was this banner this banner was just out of nowhere and i didn't notice it um let me see if i can show you guys it in more detail because it's very very small in that regards let me add it to my obs so you guys can actually see it 
and uh, actually no what I'll do is I'll add an image source you guys will see it that way much much easily um, so let's go over here uh, over here and uh, yeah this was very interesting because I was just scrolling through the uh, data mine files yesterday and I noticed this file and I was like huh how did I not notice this the first time round? because I went through the entire file and this is something I didn't notice how this is so like blatant and so obvious that how did I not see this It'll be a little bit blurred, but as you can see, this is actually a placeholder for a Christmas banner. This is actually the Christmas banner, effectively. I'm not gonna lie, we're getting a Hestia for Christmas, it seems like, at least. But I hope that's not her outfit, because all they've done is just make it red. <laughs> they've take, taken the white and made it red. They didn't even change the color of the bow. If the bow and the ribbons had also changed in color, like they made it yellow or like green or something like that, Sure, maybe then I would have let it slide a little bit, but this is surely not the final iteration. Of course, remember, this is a closed beta test file, so I expect this to be very much so a placeholder, not necessarily the final version, because if it's something like this, I'll be very disappointed, But because if you look at Don Mimo's outfits, they're far superior compared to what this is. So I'm hoping that this is just a very early image and uh, not necessarily something for us to you know, consider <laughs> and uh, expect to see in the final version of the game, of course. I hope that's not the case, of course. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, then we have some backgrounds here. Um, of course, these will be the backgrounds that you'll see in like story cutscenes and stuff, most likely, of course, right? Um, you have some scene cards here as well. And then, of course, we have the button logos. Now, these were the logos we actually saw in uh, the closed beta test. Initially, we saw with uh, season one. And then afterwards, when I data mined the files, I noticed that there was season two, season three, season four and Sword Oratoria uh, icons in the file itself. Now, I will say this, in the whole live streams, we only saw one, two, three, and four available in game. Sword Oratoria was not there still. So I expect to see Sword Oratoria to get added later on in the game's life cycle, not at the very start of the game. I also expect to see potentially inevitably uh, them adding Familiar Chronicles, the image for Familiar Chronicles, so episode Ryu and Freya get added. And then of course, Astraea Record and Argonaut will inevitably have to get added as well because they are obviously canon now. They're actual light novels, so they can be adapted into game format. They're not regulated or uh, or uh, relegated, I should say, to Dan Mimo only. Not regulated. Regulated is a completely different word. But they're not relegated to being a Dan Mimo only story now. They can be put into Battle Chronicle, of course, as well. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, we have a bunch of icons right here. These are sort of like categories. As it says, it's category icon. So each of these icons actually like give a definition to the character. So for example, this icon that you see right here next to the elf icon is supposed to be a human icon. It'll de de determine that the character is human. This is of course elf, dwarf, amazon, uh, uh, palum, of course, palum. No idea what these two are. Vel Werewolf and God slash Goddess here. I don't know what these two are, in all honesty. Let me know if you know what these two are. I'm not sure exactly what these will be defined as. But this is, of course, going to be for bed. These are for the gods and goddesses. Uh, Amazonus and, uh, of course, so that would be Tiona, Tione. You know, characters like that. Palum, Liliruka, Finn, Dwarf, Gareth, Subaki, when she gets added, of course. Elf, Riveria, Lefia, so on and so forth. And then, of course, human is like Belle and stuff like that. Um, there is also categories for male, female, unknown, <laughs> um, which familiars they're part of. So all these will be familiar icons. I expect to see these familiar icons also being put into uh, the familiar itself. I assume that each familiar will be able to have their designated god slash goddess, right? So like Dan Mimo, we can have like... Hephaestus as our goddess or Hestia as our goddess or Miak as our god. It can be something similar to that in my personal opinion where we can choose our god slash goddess for our familia as well. So that would be very very nice. Now this was the closed beta test event of course Bell going up against the Minotaur. Um, this event was mainly just Bell going through his uh, toughest fights basically so that was cool of course right. Uh, then you have these which I don't know what they are. They look like they're effectively images to add up together for certain characters. So I think, I don't know what this is. I think this is Belle. It has to be Belle, right? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Belle. Uh, no idea who that's supposed to be, but these are all characters, it seems like. These are all characters. This looks like it's gonna be Eyes. That looks like it was Lily, actually, with the hair and stuff, right? You can kind of guess who it is based on their hair and their outfit. 
So here, I'd assume this would have been uh, eyes and stuff like that. Um, with her hair, you can see right here. This is Hestia, of course, right? As well, it seems like, or it's Lily. I'm not sure who it is. But yeah, there's a couple of characters that you can kind of guess who it is and what it is based on their outfits and their uh, what they're wearing, basically. So yeah, very straightforward here. So we'll scroll down a little bit and see if there's anything interesting. Haruhime here, uh, Reveria, Finn. You can see that some of these characters already have their outfits ready to go and pretty much ready to be used, basically, here already. Freya, of course, these are this is Freya. Of course, her eye color and her hair. So that's already there, even though she's technically not available in game and she's not even on the character detail screen on the website she does have her stuff ready to go basically in game as well so that's something worth noting so let's keep scrolling down let's keep scrolling down let's see if there's anything here these are mob uh, yeah these are the mob uh, images basically as you can see right here um let's keep scrolling down these are all the buff particles now this is interesting so if you, can, you guys can see here, I wish I could scroll in a little bit more. On the right hand side, um, DM login bonus pick number one and DM logus pick banner uh, beginner number one. If you scroll here, so that's season three login bonus, as you can see right there, because Belle is meeting Wiene. And then this image, very interestingly, if we can uh, open it up in an image if possible, let me see if I can open it up in an image as well. Uh, let's see right here. I'll just need to scroll down a little bit and open it up here. So scroll all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Oh my, there's a, there's a lot here. Um, but if you scroll all the way down so that I can add it onto the screen right now before we go any further, there we go. Um, we do know that Arrow of Orion, oh my God, that's a very big screen. <laughs> that, 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 that's too big. Um, one second, let me just, uh, whoop, uh, there we go. Uh, make it even smaller. This is, uh, this is a lot happening here. Yeep, yeep. There you go. You can see right there as, as Artemis is there. Um, this is, of course, from the Arrow of Orion movie. So expect to see this in, obviously, um, in the future of the game. Of course, we are going to get Arrow of Orion content for sure. We're just, we just need to wait and see when they drop it, of course. But that does mean we're getting it inevitably. Um, these are all the battle buttons, it seems like. You can see your do dodge icon right here. Your skill 1, skill 2 icon, your assist icon here. And these are all... The damage numbers so this is of course the yellow icons the yellow numbers are your critical hits basically your uh your blue icons are magic icons your white icons are just normal icons uh damage nothing i have no idea what that is physical attacks will be uh in red and recovery slash heal icons will be in green basically and you can see the damage breaks here so you can see the break damage here your critical resistance and weak now the interesting thing is, of course, the banners themselves, the gachas. Now, in the closed beta test, we only had these two banners, basically, as the uh, guaranteed UR banners or guaranteed three-star back then banners. And uh, unfortunately, when the game launches, they will be paid. These banners will be paid. Now, one thing to note, and this is something that I will say um, is something you guys should expect, is we haven't seen... A, uh, we haven't seen a eyes at all yet. We haven't seen an eyes at all in the game yet. Um, one second here. Do, do, do. Let me see. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. One minute. Um, but yes, we haven't seen a UR eyes in the game whatsoever. I expect her to be the first banner. In yesterday's video, I said that she was going to be... Uh, I said that Freya could be the first unit, right? Well... Technically, yes, Freya can be the first unit, but of course, they'll probably want to sell eyes, right? They'll want to sell eyes because she's obviously uh, one of the main characters and she's one of the most iconic characters even. So she's going to get probably sold first and foremost. This eyes is somebody who we've not seen in the closed beta test at all. Even though it says TBT, she wasn't part of the test at all. And we don't know if she's in the game right now at all as well, right? In the UR list, the character list that I have, which I uploaded a couple of days ago, she wasn't to be seen whatsoever. So I think that the first UR that we're going to get in game as its own banner, as its solo banner, is probably going to be eyes. So keep that in mind. Make sure you guys save up if you're interested in getting eyes, of course, right? That's something that you guys will probably want to do so let's move along now and see if there's anything else these are all character skills yes these are the character skills it seems like and everything so we're just going to move along we're going to keep moving along chugging along not much for us to see here basically these are all just skill icons and particles and stuff like that 
nothing for us to take uh, too much notice into in all honesty unless you guys notice something that we should probably point out let me know but i think these are all just basic stuff this seems to be like a charge attack and stuff like that okay um win clear result yada 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 very basic stuff here very very straightforward stuff so we're gonna just keep scrolling down we're gonna keep scrolling down see if there's anything else for us to point out in the meantime uh, i think we need to get past the et stuff the et stuff just seems like it's just texts and uh uh, particles and st uh, stuff like that now ft these look like yet again these look like basically images that will be used to collate up for the backgrounds and stuff right so i'm not really going to pay too much attention there yeah these look like uh, likely that they're going to be background images now gotcha rarities n r r icons i've not seen in the game to be quite honest i think it's going to be sr ssr and ur primarily these are icons we will see regularly anyways for the characters the adventures assists and the scene cards as well so that's something to bear in mind of course these are the icons that you will get obviously for the battle royale rankings we know that that's bronze silver gold uh, platinum diamond legend and hero of course so these are your battle royale uh rankings basically so keep that in mind now let's keep Go going down and checking out what else is there for us to see because i don't think there's anything else for us to know that's too crazy okay actually never mind immediately we found out something that's interesting to see so these materials that you see right here right these three six materials basically six materials three colors basically right the silver materials are for your sr cards so that these are basically ways you can freely dupe your characters right so you guys already know that you need to use like these coins basically in order to dupe your characters right well not necessarily all you need actually if you want to do it freely without dupes without actual dupes is that you'll need these crystals now these crystals you can get from the exchange shop now i don't know how hard it'll be of course that'll be very interesting to see how hard it'll actually be to get these materials but the silver ones are going to be for the SRs, the gold ones are going to be for the SSRs, and then the rainbow ones are obviously going to be for the URs. Now, these three are for your adventures and assists, and these three are going to be for your scene cards. So keep that in mind, okay? So that the adventurers use the same material, the scene cards use a different material. Um, these are your coins for your characters. These are all the SRs, it seems like. Yep, that's all the SRs. These are going to be your, like, tickets and stuff. So, one thing to note is we're getting an assist guaranteed ticket gacha, which is going to be something like this, I think. I think we, based on the image that we have, let me just double check the website, actually, while we're here. Um, because they have the image of the assist guaranteed ticket gacha here. So, we can actually tell if it's going to be a three-star guaranteed at the very least, because it does seem like, um, or an SSR guaranteed at the very least. Because these tickets, right, the rainbow tickets, seem to be the UR guaranteed ga gacha tickets, whereas the one that we're getting as part of the pre-registration rewards i think it's only an ssr guaranteed yeah i think we're getting this one if i'm not mistaken we're getting this one yeah we're getting this one the ic501105 i uh, ticket i think that's only gonna be an ssr it's not like it's a ur like this one because if it was a rainbow then it would be ur guaranteed i think it is going to be ssr guaranteed minimum so at least it's ssr guaranteed you're not bound to get a, a an sr assist which is good in my personal opinion at least that's better than nothing to be quite honest but yeah th that's something to bear in mind now this is interesting so these are more exchange items because i know that this is the magic stone these you get from the battle royale game mode i assume these gold ones are from the 3v3 pvp mode the auto battle 3v3 game mode that we have in the game right i think these gold bars are going to be from that basically so you're going to use this for the event exchange shop as well as this but this one battle royale this one is going to be from the 3v3 pvp exchange I don't know how you get these keys to be honest and i know that these keys allow you to get the dupes the free dupes of course right but i just don't know how you get them so that's also going to be very interesting and i have no idea what these other things are this is of course valis and this is of course selas of course we know that we already know what that is dummy stamina is of course the stamina icon that's not even a dummy that is something that we actually get so yeah then these are all the mobs. Now the mobs are obviously only season one characters so far. We only have like some of the minotaurs and stuff like that. We don't have every single uh, enemy in the game. I expect them to add like stuff like the juggernaut. They're going to add yeah, Kintos as an enemy of course, right? Because of season two, probably Aisha as well. 
freeing so on and so on and so forth the strays they'll all be added inevitably but right now we don't have any of those in the data mine um because it's all just characters and enemies from like season one early season one um next up we have these uh items as well no idea what these items are for oh no i know what these items are for these are cp items so these items will be used to upgrade your cp level for your characters as well just like how dan mimo has the bouquets the uh, books the dungeon cakes and so on and so forth these are the same items effectively from my understanding so keep that in mind now we have the uh, character icons as you can see right here these are all the sr characters and some of them are also the ur characters like this bell is ur this cassandra is ur loki is ur and stuff like that so these are characters that are ur of course right um i think this lily is also ur as well so yeah pretty much straightforward more exchange icons exilia so these are your uh, upgrade materials. This will give you the EXP and skill level books and stuff like that. So again, very important things for you guys to look forward to basically as well. Very much important things for you guys to look forward to um, when it comes to the game. Um, these are your daily icons, um, daily benefits, daily uh, daily valis, daily exilia, daily skill level books. There's hard, normal, very hard. Now this is very interesting because we only had one event in the closed beta test right there seems to be two further images one with hestia of course uh over there there's one with tione and tiona and then there's one with uh uh ryu as well so it's going to be very interesting to see exactly what it turns out to be in that situation if these events end up getting added to the game is there going to be a ryu event is there going to be a tione tiona event um you know what is this hestia event going to be like We've already seen what this closed beta test event is, so there's nothing new there. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what they are like. Now, these are obviously your uh, image tips and stuff like that. These are all in Japanese, so there's no point in us using these, to be honest, unfortunately, right now. Um, but again, good for us to have them. Of course, I will probably be uh, posting them and using them in the future uh, when we get the English version so that I can probably show it to you guys and give you guys an Imgur link to it so you guys have like a full tip screen with which can be easily accessed without any issues whatsoever. So I'm probably going to do that when the game launches, of course. So that don't worry about that at all. We'll definitely get around to doing that, of course. So let's keep scrolling down. These are all just uh, blank images for now, it seems like. Um, yet again, this is a very interesting image because you have the battle pass here. You've got your pack items, subscription items. So there are going to be certain things. There's going to be a monthly subscription, it seems like. There's going to be pack items. So uh, certain uh, Selah's packs. And then there's going to be the battle pass as well. I am probably going to be getting these two, it seems like. I think the most likely is I'm going to get the battle pass and the subscription. And there does seem to be some backgrounds and frames that you can get from maybe buying certain things. So keep that in mind. There might be some things for us to get through that as well. Um, all right, let's keep scrolling down. Let's keep scrolling down and checking out this. Now, this is very interesting, right? So we've seen a lot of these characters. The one that I want to point out the most here is Eyes because Eyes... Um, unfortunately isn't a UR in this game yet, right? We know this, we, like I mentioned earlier on. Yet again, however, we come across another eyes image that we've not seen in-game whatsoever from anybody, anybody at all. And it's an image I've actually used in a couple of my, um, funnily enough, in uh, a couple of my thumbnails. I might use it today as well, to be quite honest. But this eyes is actually not available at all. And I expect her to be the first UR we get. This eyes is pro probably going to be the first UR banner we get. So if you're looking to, you know, spend your Selas, be wary that there might be a new UR eyes coming immediately, probably in the first week or so as well. So just keep that in mind because, of course, eyes is a big seller. One of the main heroines of Dan Machi would sell extremely well if they just put her as the first banner, right? So it makes sense in that regards. Um, more ca character skills, it seems like. So we'll just... Uh, quickly move along we're almost at the end now we're almost at the end um these are all just uh co collated images and stuff like that nothing interesting here okay scene cards so these are the scene cards that are available of course in the closed beta test um based on what we've seen in the whole live stream there's far more than these there are going to be way way more scene cards so look forward to those of course right we'll figure out which one's good which ones are not good and so on and so forth i think the only ur ones that we had in the closed beta test were these two these two ones the bell and hestia one and the seer one i think if i'm not mistaken i think those were the only two scene cards that we actually had that were you are in the closed beta test so something to bear in mind um more images here for tips and tricks basically team caravan 
Um, and uh, I think that is it. Yep, that is it pretty much. We've wrapped it up there. But a good amount of information for us to go over, basically. A couple of interesting things that we saw, of course, like the Christmas banner, the UR eyes. We can kind of confirm that eyes is probably going to be the first banner. Um, and just a little bit more additional information for you guys to have. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If there's anything interesting you guys noticed, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, if you want to mention it and if you feel like you can't describe it really well just pause at a certain point and uh, try and see if you can copy paste the uh, name of the file and put it in the comment section and we can go from there and we can have a bit of a discussion there but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take it easy everybody bye bye